In this tip and trick, we're going to investigate how we can add dimensions to Inventor drawings inside of AutoCAD. So I've got a 3D model over here of our Midas logo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drawing. And I'm going to place a base view to say a scale of 5 is to 1 inside of here. And a projected view off of there. Get the views I want very quickly. And I'm going to quickly go in and I'm going to add in some dimensions. So maybe that one there, that one there, and an overall over there. So three dimensions placed. I'm happy with that. I'm going to save this drawing. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to shoot into AutoCAD. Inside of AutoCAD, I'm going to open up the same drawing. You can see my three dimensions have come through. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go and grab, say, a linear dimension. Just for comparative purposes, we're going to grab that height. See, it's brought through the same dimension and it's in the same font and format. I can then go and grab, say, a diameter and go and grab this diameter over here, 3.1. And maybe I want another height, so I'm just going to grab another linear dimension over there. Right, so let's say that was my detailing done in AutoCAD. I was quite happy with that. I can save this drawing away, close it up, go back into Inventor, go and grab the same drawing. And you'll see that my dimensions have come through from AutoCAD. Um, now, what's very interesting is there's a nice new selection filter inside of Inventor 2010 called Select All AutoCAD Dimensions. And I can actually click on that. I can go and delete all the dimensions placed from AutoCAD. Thanks for having a look.